Think It Happened Friday. The art and cultural site of Southeast Asia. Welcome to Durian ASEAN, the voice of discovery and sharing. We are at Anything Can Happen Friday, where we focus on social, culture, and lifestyles around Southeast Asia. It was an eye-opening event to watch One Piece and the Rite of Spring, which were choreographed by a Japanese choreographer, Un Yamada, who wanted to explore more in the multiculturalism that includes Malaysia's qualities, aesthetics, and issues. She managed to harvest the potential for highly energetic and creative performances on her inspiration and experience in Malaysia. This project was organized and funded by Japan Foundation, which was held in Kuala Lumpur Performing Arts Center in late January 2016. And I'm with Dr. Joseph Victor Gonzalez, who is the founder and artistic director of Aswara Dance Company, and Un Yamada, who is a choreographer, dancer, and director of Ku Un Yamada. I live in Tokyo, and so sometimes I perform in not only Tokyo, so out of uh, Tokyo countryside, mm-hmm. and sometimes so not only theater and outdoor space, and uh, also concert hall, something. And also, so I'm performing in the uh, world, in Europe, in Middle Asia, and so East, Eastern Asia, so many countries. Mm-hmm. So how long have you been uh, doing this dance in your whole life, is it life? Yeah, so as a professional dancer, around 15, 20 years. 20 years, yeah. right. Yeah, but before I became a dancer, so I work in the theater as a staff. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I always work in uh, produce for the young dancer or choreographer. Wonderful. <laughs> Fantastic, isn't it? I'm so fascinated by listening to Un. <laughs> My uh, introduction to um, performance, I think, began really in school, very much uh, cultivated by the environment of uh, very uh, interesting and uh, very open-minded teachers and school system that encouraged uh, young boys, which is quite unusual, to be involved in theatre, not dance. So I think since the age of 10, I was always doing uh, acting or we write our silly scripts and perform at the end of the semester and that kind of thing. I never thought that performing arts would be a career. Right. Yeah, so from that, which lasted, uh, you know, till I was 19, 20, I went to university and then I began looking for something. I don't know what that something was. I didn't know. But I didn't think that uh, sitting down and studying uh, and working in a in a bank or a school or, or being a professor hours. was was going to be the kind of career that was suitable for me, but I didn't know what it was. And then I chanced upon a, comp- a group of performers in university that were very interested in dancing and very importantly, they traveled overseas. So I never traveled overseas in my life until then. So I I said, oh, let me try to get into this company because I want to travel, mm-hmm. not really because I want to dance, you know. And uh, interestingly, they accepted me into this group and they did traditional Malay performance. Right. And within six months, I had gone to Hong Kong and Thailand and Korea and I was very excited, very happy. So this whole thing was really wonderful. And then later, the Malay dance teacher mm-hmm. said, go and do ballet and jazz and tap and modern because you seem to be good at it and you seem to have some kind of talent. I wasn't really sure what he meant, but I thought I will try. And I was in the ballet class together with 10-year-old girls, you right. know, and I was 22, 23, and I had a beard. <laughs> and it was very funny and quite horrible and <laughs> very humiliating <laughs> because the little 10-year-old girls were better than I was. Oh. <laughs> but, you know, it was something I thought really enjoyable. Mm-hmm. And I continued to do it. And when I finished my university degree in mathematics, uh, I decided that I wanted to do this professionally. Right. And then I continued to, to dance. I went to Europe. I went to England. And, and then I became a dancer and professional in Europe, uh, England in a musical theater. Then after about five years, came back to Malaysia. And I've worked in Aswara ever yeah, since. Exactly. Yeah, So right. being a founding member of the staff of the school, mm-hmm. very uh, played a critical role in the development of the syllabus. Uh, looking at multiculturalism as a philosophy and how to implement it. That's and wonderful. that's it. <laughs> yeah. whole life from both of you sounds very dynamic. <laughs> mm, <yeah. laughs> We're crazy people, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah.
So when it comes to dance, it includes various types of, from ballet, traditional dance, hip hop, even contemporary dance, and so on. Do dancers explore themselves into different styles of dancing, or find their own interests and suitable movements to choose? Is versatility a benefit or advantage in this topic? I think.、Um Well, it's it's hard to give a simple answer to that question, I but I think、um, there are many levels and、uh, ways of entry into dance. So for some people, it's quite enough to to do it as a pastime, as a hobby, and they enjoy it. And some people who do it as a hobby do it all their lives. It's a very healthy lifestyle choice. I think they,、uh, you know, they gain tremendous、uh, satisfaction from it, and many of them become also very good at it, but may not choose to do it as a profession. Right. I think to become a professional, you need something else, and you need to want something else.、Uh, you need to. I, I think if I use my own experience, it, it's just that、uh, a little bit of involvement was was not enough. I had to be immersed in it completely and totally, and、uh, be living and breathing and experiencing dance. And then I think、um, it also depends on the level of expertise and skill that you might have. So, so for example, many of the ballet dancers only do ballet and、uh, you know pas de deux, and they focus on all the skills of ballet, technique,、uh, pirouettes and jumps and beats and so on. And maybe they do a little bit of exploration of contemporary dance. So you need that level of、uh, total commitment to achieve those kind of standards. And I think contemporary dance、uh, that is very physical and very challenging also requires that kind of commitment. But so does something like buto. Yeah. You know, if you really want to be good at it, you、yeah. have to really、uh, embody it.、Mm-hmm. You know. So、uh, I think. Definitely, if you are looking at achieving a high level of skill and、uh, competency, you need to really devote a lot of time、mm-hmm. to training your mind and your body. Dancing is a very competitive、uh, co- profession, and unfortunately, only a small percentage of dancers can actually find steady work in this area. To land a job in this field, dancers will usually have to audition for a part along with the several other dancers. In order to supplement their incomes, many dancers will often hold other jobs as well. So, how is the perception of this career nowadays, and what has changed? Are there any differences between the、uh, dance industry in Malaysia and Japan? So, we can choose a lot of things, like hip hop and ballet and local traditional dance, something. So, also, so we can choose a lot of food. That's the same idea. So, we can. Eat Asian food and European food, something like this. The dance is same idea, so we can choose some original idea. This is how to combine, how to divide. So we have some new idea. This is we have also how to connect to society and how to connect to foundation also. Okay. This, how to we are was supported by something. So we are always. Continue to think about how to select something. So that is very、uh, special for about dance. Yes,、right? for about yes. dance. Yeah, 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 yeah. So almost my member of my company、mm-hmm. is、uh, parent support, friend、oh, support.、Right. But for me, it's not because it's also yeah. My starting dance is the doctor ask me you have to start that. Oh, okay. Yeah, just my starting dance is rehabilitation for my illness.、Oh, right. Yeah. Then so I'm the beginning. I don't like dance、mm-hmm. because before the dancing, I, I had a、uh, gymnastic. Oh, gymnastic. Yeah. yeah. Then I per- t- took part in the gymnastic、uh, international match、mm-hmm. and really hard train training.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. But、uh, I I must change the dance. The dance and the sport is very quite different. Yes. Yeah.、Uh-huh. Because so sport is a winner or no? Yes. Yeah, but you <laughs> know the dance、weird. is no,、mm-hmm. no winner.、Mm-hmm. You know. Then so really quite a different world.、Mm-hmm. Then so I'm really confused in my life. <laughs> Then so starting dance, but the beginning is not so exciting for me.、Mm-hmm. But so I. One day, so I watched the buto and I watched the European contemporary dance. Then, so I found the new possibility. Not 
contemporary dance. Mm -hmm. The physical philosophy and the physical body and so someone's soul. So big, big uh, possibility. Mm -hmm. Then so I want to be something kind of dance, but I don't know, not sure, but uh, yeah, I won't use the body, I and I won't think use my body, mm -hmm. you know, another body. <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah, that is my starting point, but my parents did not uh, recommend me, oh. because of my, I have an illness, then so be careful, not so. They were really worried mm. about Yeah, yeah, you worry about me. Yeah, but so I continue, just keep it, keep it. I see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's very interesting. Very <laughs> yeah. there. So let's continue our conversation of this short break. We'll come back.